Hello and welcome to the Corporate Development Academy, Kodak, a training series that tackles issues relevant to everyday life. Thanks to our loyal viewers, many of you have sent in suggestions that have helped make us better with every episode. The team and I are grateful and we really appreciate you. My name is Chibuzo Okechuku. Everyone wants to be successful. We all have plans and dreams of getting better and getting to the top in our businesses and focus is on constant ways to grow and being better. You see, at first, the popular saying was, the sky is the limit. Then we evolved into an improved, more optimistic quote, the sky is the stepping stone. Everyone is focusing on reaching the sky and being the best. What many do not understand is that while it takes a lot to reach the top, you see, it requires hard work, value offering, continuous improvement, which must also include support and encouragement from others. It can also be very lonely at that top, especially when we're forced to go at it alone. Today, we will look at something that I know everyone has a story or an experience about. Our topic today is the sky is enough. People are very reluctant to support the ventures of their friends, colleagues, friends of friends, and sometimes even family. For various reasons, we immediately devalue the services and the products of people that we know or people that belong to a particular demographic which we have developed conclusions on or we have reservations towards. Many times people are forced to get support from the outside world. Have you ever wondered why people who start a business always share different experiences of how they had to plead with their friends for support, for encouragement, or even to patronize them? Have you heard a business owner complain that the people closest to him are the ones who owe them the most? As a business owner, have you wondered why it takes so much to get support from those around you? Now, this is not the case with everyone. And I know this does not occur all the time. Of course, there are very wonderful, fantastic, and loyal friends out there. In fact, there are people who go ahead to promote a friend's business, even without being told. But oftentimes, the former is the case. Now, I want to share some of the reasons why people find it difficult to support ventures of those that are close to them. The first one is mindset. You see, people automatically think of freebies when a friend is doing a business. They tend not to consider the struggles and the need for the business to make every possible penny, especially when they're starting. How can I pay when she's my sister? Why do I need to pay after all she's my schoolmate, my cousin, my auntie? This mindset leads to a whole lot of problems. Many businesses have failed because of this. You see, the mindset is that being connected to a business the services they offer should be made available to you for free or at least discounted and at your own convenience. People rarely put a business ahead of their own needs and this affects the growth of the business. Two, familiarity. You see, familiarity between businesses and the people close to them automatically neutralizes the value offered by the business. A lot of people don't value the services or businesses of people close to them. It's just like someone starts a business of selling beddings or anything. Because you know them so well, you attach quality or value to those that are offered by others that you don't even know. This is also the case with patronizing products that are manufactured locally. Automatically, we ascribe less worth and we think of reduced quality about them because we question or we second guess the processes that may have been involved. This is just because we know them. Again, we fail to understand that by doing so, these businesses are left to suffer, and in many cases, they fail. Three, fear of being outshined. Now, this is the focus of this episode. You see, another reason people don't support businesses of those that they know is because they are scared of that business doing better than theirs. They rather make it to the top alone. 
you find someone who has just started a business and naturally should gain support from you but that's not the case rather than focus on how businesses can leverage on the different strengths of each other the focus is on who does better who has more likes who has more followers more subscribers now this is born out of a negative mindset and a pessimistic envious thinking because you doubt your own capability to be successful you unconsciously refuse to help another business grow for fear of being outshined now there are many other reasons why people fail to support other businesses or reluctantly do so but the three mentioned are very common the truth is that sometimes it is peculiar to every business so everybody's case is different now the fault could also be from within you know people have taken away focus from quality value offering and they just carry out business carelessly and of course this would affect your support and patronage it really can go both ways now on one hand you just refuse to support someone's business because you rather patronize popular brands the more expensive products and those that are either imported or by more popular entrepreneurs on the other hand some people just don't want to be associated with poor quality bad services and greedy businesses take for example you decide to support a friend or a colleague's business and you refer them to someone else you promote their brands or you even patronize them now imagine if their product or their service turns out to be of bad quality or they are rude to the customers you refer them to or they turn out to be dubious or affiliated with something illegal it can affect you many of you have examples of when you referred a friend's business and it went completely wrong in fact some of the clients came back to complain to you or in some cases even develop issues with you yes it exists but you see it still doesn't negate the fact that it is better to support it's better to help and encourage other people help them to grow it doesn't take anything from you in fact it doesn't have to cost you anything there's so much you can do to encourage people around you but I want to share just a few simple ones now the truth is it remains your prerogative to do so in fact you don't owe any business around you support it is only the right thing to do now get this helping others is a secret ingredient to a happy life so here are some ways you can support and encourage businesses around you number one patronize now there are businesses out there whose products and services are not exactly your day-to-day -day requirements like someone who makes clothes bakes cakes and others but still you can patronize them just for the sake of knowing them this is the real show of friendship or whatever bond exists between you there are people who patronize businesses just to support them whether they need the product or not in fact in many cases the service they render is just one that you can actually do for yourself but yet there are people who just patronize others as a way of being supportive why would you feel okay and reaching an unknown brand when you have a friend that offers the same product or service check your network and begin patronizing businesses around you today Two, attend their events you see we have friends who partake in open marketplaces or they have food tasters or other kinds of events even with the lockdown and with the restrictions so many businesses now have virtual events like Instagram lives zoom meetings Facebook premieres and so on all you need to do is connect naturally we are largely online so it wouldn't take anything much of an extra attend their programs suggest ways for them to do better leave your comments likes shares and anything else that can help their business grow these things literally cost you nothing and at the same time it can go a very long way to growing that business if you can't attend when it's live then go back to it later or let them know you can't and wish them well that simple encouragement will go a long way three referrals yes I know we've pointed out the dangers of doing this blindly 
but it is still a very positive thing to do especially if you know and you can vouch for that business make introductions for them hello this is my friend BMO and he produces the best honey or hello guys please go and try out this business or that business introduce them as their businesses it really helps four posts on social media now this is where the major problem is this is still a very difficult task for many people to do and I find it very difficult to even understand no social media platform charges a dime for what you post on your own page yet businesses constantly beg for people to post click a link subscribe follow back retweet like just things that will only take few seconds or minutes post and also leave a positive message now I understand that some people have personal restrictions for what they post or things that they do with their own accounts now this is personal so it can't be faulted however this is only the case with very few as much as you can do what you can to support someone's business even if they are in the same line as yours listen support a friend's business the same way you would do for celebrities and popular people that you don't even know you see if you're not taking time to make someone else's life better then your time is being wasted also you have not fully lived today unless you've done something for someone who can never repay you your life will become better by making other lives better by helping people it could just be a positive feedback a word of encouragement something as simple as clicking subscribe now get this strong people don't put others down they lift them up you may think it's nothing but it could be everything to someone else and you know you must not do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do finally if you're the only one succeeding around you then you have failed so forget about making it alone because the sky is enough that's the most we can take on this episode I hope you learned something new and you will make up your mind to help others around you whenever you can please share this video so others can watch it like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel let that be the least that you do to help this page grow now the link to the YouTube will be posted in the comment section right now Thank you for watching and join us again. This is Kodak.